and uh, uh, it, I was doing all right. But then HDR started to die down. Uh. Like, not just die down. We went, we went to, I mean, we went from like, uh, we usually had 75 or 80 jobs going at, a, at one time. Because a job took at least three months. Uh. Because it took so long, you know, you'd you'd, mm, you'd have to inventory everything, you'd have to design everything, get them to approve it, and then you had to order the furniture. Yeah. That took about six weeks, and then you had to install it, and that took about another two or three. Yeah. So you're looking at least, you know, it's a real long in the tooth job. So we had about 75 or 80 going at one time. We went down to like 20, and <laughs> at the same time, Dr. Wolcott was like, she he had proposed to me in the spring that I come work with him. Mm-hmm. Well, school pays me about half as much as work paid me. Yeah. <laughs> and so at the time, I giggled, and I'm like, Dr. Wolcott, I just don't know if I could uh, swing that. Swing that. <laughs> and, uh, and then we were meeting for something else in the summertime, and I had realized that HDR was going right through the floor. Yeah. And, uh, and that I was maybe dumb to have turned him down because... I have such a kind of a specific talent that I need experience. Mm-hmm. I need field experience. Mm-hmm. And um, I wasn't going to be getting it drawing furniture all day. Yeah. And uh, so we were meeting about something else, and he brings this fact up that they got this grant that they had been applying for, and it still had my name on it. And, you know, would I be interested? And I'm like, you know what? I really would be interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the one that convinced me to go into MIS because I didn't think uh, I had the smarts to make it. Uh, I would sit in the, I would sit in the computer classes and I would think, what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't even have a frame of reference. I don't even. I couldn't even. I mean, fuck. Uh. So I was really scared to do that. I was really scared to commit. That's kind of how I was my first database class. Was like, uh, what, the fuck are you talking about? what is this? I mean, uh, it was a completely new experience. It's like, uh, okay, <laughs> I'll just sit here and attempt to do what you're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna write down every word that I don't know and Google it later. Yeah. <laughs> that was my strategy for a long time. Uh, that's kind of how I was, like, you would take notes in class, and, like, I'm taking notes, I'm taking notes, I'm writing down everything that you're saying, and it's like, okay. Then, put it to practice, it's like, fuck, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, totally. <laughs> oh, my God. We totally, uh, in Omaha, we, we study buddy everything. I mean, we... All right. When are we doing this homework together? Is yeah. uh, you know. We kind of do the same in Eau Claire. Okay. Um, well, especially with like accounting, like our accounting classes. There's, I don't think anyone does that class by themselves. Yeah. At least for my first two accounting classes, I had the same. Like my friend, we were in the same class for both count for both classes. And we're like, time to do this homework at. Mm-hmm. Well, we were in, on the track team for the first class, so. Together, so I was like, that's practice, calling homework, let's get it done. <laughs> yeah, baby. And I mean, it worked out really well that way. And then the second semester, he had a different professor for it, but uh, it was the same homework, so we're like, okay, let's get this done. <laughs> well, I felt I felt bad about that for the longest time, so I'm like, oh, but if I was in a real situation, am I going to have the confidence to you know, get that done, but... I think a lot of it is the real world. I mean, they're going to ask you, yeah, get this done, but you always have your resources and you have your have people around you if you need help. If they have time. <laughs> yeah. But. If I was ever going to really become a professor, I would teach differently than most of the classes that I've been through. I mean, most of them... I don't know. They design the homework, and I don't know. It's just some of them are really teachers, and some of them are researchers. Yeah. And you can always tell the difference. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, I mean, 
I would design it much more around the way human beings learn than the way that it has always been done, because I think the way that it has always been done... I mean, like, can you even remember half of the shit we went through in Braunschweig? If I asked you to pivot a data cube, would you know what that meant? I would know what it meant, but that... That was just because we spent a lot of time on that, I think. Yeah. But that, I mean, that was, like, the pivoting, dicing, and slicing, that was, like, that seemed really basic information, like, pivot. <laughs> so, I don't know. That was one thing that I did get from there. But other than that, I mean, anything else, like, from the data mining class or whatever. Mm. Uh, well, once we left the place, once we were done with our exam, it was like... Yeah, 